Hi, I'm Shana with Adventures in Fluff, and today I'm going to be showing you some of the various ways that you can fold a pre-fold diaper. Now right here I have um, a size newborn uh, GMD Clothies pre-fold diaper, and for the most part you're going to want to start out with the main thickest um, section running um, lengthwise down your baby, so if you laid your baby it would be going down the center right here. And that's how you're going to start with most of your folds. So the first fold I'm going to show you is one of the easiest ones and it would be to tri-fold your pre-fold diaper. So we're just going to fold one side of the diaper in and then we're going to fold the other side of the diaper in. And then we're going to take our diaper cover. All your pre-fold diapers are going to need a cover since they are not waterproof in themselves and then you're just going to lay it inside your cover. Now you can have a whole bunch of these all set up and ready underneath your changing table and um, you'll be ready to go for each and every change. But um, you're just going to take your baby, place it on top of your diaper cover, and fold it up. Fasten your diaper cover. Check to make sure that your your Pre-fold is not sticking out of the leg holes, the front, or the back of the diaper, or else you might get leaking, and um, then your baby is ready to go. So, simple and easy as that. Now, this might not be the best way to do your pre-fold in the newborn stages, though, because um, it doesn't have ultimate coverage, but this is great for an older baby. So, I'm going to show you a couple of the other folds that uh, might be a little bit better in the newborn stage. So, the first one that I'm going to show you is the angel wing fold. So you're just going to start with your diaper laying out on your station, place your baby on the pre-fold, line up the back with approximately at their belly button um, point, and then you're going to take the bottom of the diaper and tri-fold it, kind of like we just did, only the back stays winged out. So if you were looking at it, it would look something like that. Then you're going to take the front of the diaper, fold it up, take your wings that are in the back, fold them over the front of the baby, take your snappy, hold it in the center, and just fasten your snappy on at all three points. Now you can put on your cover after that point and you'll be ready to go, just making sure that your pre-fold is not sticking out of the back, the front, or the legs. So that's a great um, and easy pre-fold um, uh, fold that you can do. Another pre-fold fold that you can do is the newspaper fold, very similar to the angel wing fold. I'm going to use a slightly bigger pre-fold just because it's a little bit easier with this particular fold. I'm going to line up the back of the diaper with the baby's belly button. This is a size small pre-fold. I'm going to once again, oh, this is the difference with the newspaper fold. I'm going to fold the front of the pre-fold in first and then I'm going to tri-fold it once and then another time into itself, into the pocket that I'm creating with that first fold. So I create kind of a little pocket fold that looks like a newspaper up at the front. Set my baby on it and fold up the front, fold the back wings up, and then once again I'll put on my snappy. And there you have your newspaper fold. So very similar to the angel wing fold. The only difference is how you start it off with that first little fold and you fold it in just to create a really nice and secure um, fit at the front. Another great thing about um, this is the absorption level at the front and I'll go over that a little bit more um, in a minute. So the next fold that we have, I'm going to go back to my newborn diaper cover just since my baby right here is so little. 
But the next fold is the jelly roll fold. Now this fold is great to contain those newborn poops, so it's a good one to learn. I'm just going to start at the back, lining up with the belly button as we did with the other folds. And I'm going to roll my pre-fold in all the way to the bottom till it kind of touches right there. And then I'm going to fold it up. So I have two little jelly roll folds right here. And then um, you could just secure it like that if you want or if you find it's getting too bulky because maybe your pre-fold was big and you needed to fold it down you could also flare it out a bit and then bring up your wings and secure it with your snappy. Now what this is going to do is create some poo pockets up at the legs because you've rolled that. You've created almost like a gusset feature on your pre-fold so the poop has a little bit harder time leaking out of that diaper. So that's why it's such a great newborn diaper fold because you're going to be having a lot of those runny poops. Another good one for the runny poop stage is um, the bikini twist. Now how you're going to do that is start off with your regular starting point just up at the belly button. Take the bottoms of your pre-fold and just 180 twist them. Just twist them to the other side. You can kind of see how I did that. I kind of crossed over my arms and just twisted them. It's going to create a little bit of a weird look in the center, but it'll be fine once you bring it up. and you'll bring that to the sides and bring your wings over just like you always do and then you're going to secure it once again with your snappy. Now the reason this one's also good for newborn poos is it has created kind of a pocket within the twist right at the butt area inside so that also helps to contain the newborn poop Another great feature of this fold is that um, it creates a lot skinnier, more compact um, portion on the inside between the baby's legs so they can close their legs a lot easier and um, it's just a lot more trim. So those are some of the perks of the bikini twist. This is actually my hardest fold right now if you didn't notice. So I'll need to practice that one just a little bit more. Now, um, as for all the folds, those are the main folds that you might use with your pre-fold. Some other things that you might want to take into consideration, we'll just move baby here, is um, if you want more of a stay dry feature, you might want to add a fleece liner on top of your pre-fold. You can do that with any of the folds. If you had your angel wing fold, you could also add a stay dry fleece liner. Another thing you might want to do is if you're not getting enough absorption you might want to add a doubler to your um, pre-fold. This one happens to be a Hint Babies so I like it because it's really thin and um, it doesn't create a lot of bulk when you're using it in your diaper but um, if you wanted to you can add it to your diaper uh, in the center and just I like to fold it up front for a boy so I'm getting extra layers in the front or for a girl you could fold it in the center get extra layers there and then you would start your fold like that. Another thing you might want to try are different folds like I was saying for a boy or a girl. Now for boys any of the folds that involve folding the front it's going to give you a little bit more absorption right where you need it, right where his pee is going to go right there in the front. So the newspaper fold, or if you're using a larger pre-fold, you're normally going to need to fold in the front. For um, any 
uh, girls, you might want to get more absorption right in the center because that's where all their pee is going to go. So a nice little trick would be to actually start your prefold in the opposite direction. Now, when I fold my prefold, I'm getting double the layers right in that wet zone for a girl. And it works the same for any of the other folds. I'm still getting more layers in that wet zone for a girl. So that would be a nice trick for girls. And then one last trick would be if you're finding you're having a lot of explosive poos out the back of your diaper, you might want to fold down the back of the diaper and that will create one extra little pocket that the poop will have to try and escape before it gets outside of your diaper. So you can just add that and then you would do, say, your angel wing fold and you're going to have that little pocket right there behind the baby's butt. So that's basically all the different folds and then all the tricks that you can use while doing the different folds. And um, I'm going to keep practicing this and hopefully I will be super fast by the time Lincoln gets here. I know that he will help me to um, get better as well. And um, hopefully this video tutorial will help you to practice and get better at your prefold folding skills as well. So thanks for joining me and I hope you'll join me again for another one of my adventures in fluff.